Hi, I'm Ashley Blanchett, and I'm here at Playville to give you a little sneak peek of the sound of music at Paper Mill Playhouse. When we first started rehearsals, it was a kind of a surprise to realize how much this show meant to us. You know, we've all grown up with this classic, probably one of the biggest, most popular classic movie musicals of all time. And um, we've all grown up with all of the music and it's in our body. And um, I think that we were all really moved by the piece. Um, there's a lot in it that isn't just about a woman going to see her children. It's about loss, it's about redemption, it's about nostalgia. Um, and I think all these things are really, really surprised us by how touching they were. And that's why it's a classic, I guess, because it stands the test of time. That's kind of been the challenge for me because I grew up loving Julie Andrews. I actually, my mother just sent me a note where I sent, I sent to Julie Andrews like, I love you so much, will you send me a signed autograph copy of your picture? And um, so I loved her so much. And so I think part of this has been, you know, what is the version that I'm gonna bring to it. Um, but I don't wanna make it different just for the sake of making it different. So I've been finding, you know, staying true to the script and the people on stage with me and really working off of them and trying to look at it for the first time, trying to look at the lyrics for the very first time instead of just singing it from memory. But also I think every once in a while when I'm doing like Lonely Goat Herd or something, I'll stand in a position and I'll say, oh, this feels like Peter Pan. This kind of feels like Mary Martin. And I think it just kind of comes out. And I, I kind of appreciate that about doing this part that I can sort of feel close to these amazing uh, these amazing people and this amazing history um, just by just by playing the role. Yeah. I think that's the benefit and the challenge of any time you do a revival, you know? You really have to, you, you don't want to divorce yourself from the love of that initial piece, but at the same time you want to make it new, otherwise why do it, you know? So it's it's trying to find that balance of how how can I add in a little bit of my perspective while also honoring, you know, the beauty of what's been done before. I hope they're a little bit surprised by how relevant it really is. When the captain sings at the end of the show, Edelweiss, um, I started to cry the other day because I realized he was singing about his love for his homeland, even though the politics of the world are changing all around him and he doesn't recognize his country. And I think that that's something that many of us can really relate to. And the fact that he chooses to say, bless my homeland forever in response to it, even as he's escaping as a refugee, um, was really touching for me. And so I think that nostalgia and um, just that relevance is something that I hope is surprising to the audience. While at the same time, I think that it's something that they're gonna feel really familiar with. And it's gonna be uh, hopefully really um, comfort food and, and warming for people, um, especially during the holiday seasons to, you know, hear this music and, and see this love story. And it, it's, a, it's a beautiful piece and so much about it has been done so well initially. And so I hope that we can do it justice. And now we'll give you a little sneak peek. Here's the title song from The Sound of Music.
Thanks for watching, and thank you so much for having us, Playville. You can catch The Sound of Music at the Paper Mill Playhouse from December 2nd to January 1st. Hope to see you there.